today I want to deal with you you can be successful how can you can be successful and prosperous in your daily life I want to tell you how you can be successful I know you know one thing Satan knows ah uh, Satan fears the most is a child of God who is prosperous uh, spiritually physically especially financially yes Satan want to you be blessed by Lord he hates you will be blessed devil knows yeah devil knows that if a child of God you me had a financial blessing they will because why the Satan fears will be blessed children of the God will support the gospel we have to do God's mission Satan hate Satan interrupt this ministry Satan won sought our way we have to preach Satan afraid will support to the all the evangelist and the preacher by supporting the financially that's why Satan afraid that we're gonna get the blessing the financially the materially my dear children if you will believe God's financial instruction in the Bible and the biblical instruction God going to reveal in your Bible you can find how you can be successful in this life where you are living now let me okay tell you the history since the time begins mankind has been searching for the secret key to success and the prosperity yes The, you know the ancient time all race and land this earth have had some trace or inkling of all that the human being has been searching for to get the blessing financially materially 
history is testified. Uh, but uh, a few people found the key to success and prosperous of themselves and used it to open up in their lives a determination and the treasure beyond imagination they thought let me tell you the person who are blessed from the Lord yeah Bible clearly it is showing and a few people who blessed materially abundantly from the Lord who they believed uh, Abraham yeah he had a breast great the breast from the Lord. I think uh, he reaches the man in the old times. I believed at that time. Abraham had 414 servants in his house. Genesis 13 chapter 2 clearly said Abraham had blessed. Yeah. Abraham had become very wealthy. Very, very wealthy. And prosperous had not a silver and gold. Hmm? How he had blessed from the Lord because he obeyed what God said, he followed God instruction that God greatly blessed him. Huh? You know, Abraham, all right, God instructs to Abraham, go leave your father's house from the harem where his father Terah had dead that place when Terah had been the journey to the Canaan God appeared to the Abraham, leave this place and go to the land where I will show you. Abraham obeyed what God said. That's why Abraham had been blessed from the Lord. This is a key biblical instruction Abraham had received what Lord said. I want to tell you more. Isaac, Bible says 
Genesis 26, 12 through 13. Isaac planted crops in that land. What land? Land of Philistine. I tell you later. And Samuel, listen to my beloved children. Listen, that is a key point. And Samuel, he lived one hundred fold, not ten times fold, one hundred fold. Because the Lord blessed him. That Bible said. Then he became rich and his wealth continued to grow until he became very worse. Hmm? There was the rain and the famine, severe famine, the land in Abraham times. Huh? So Isaac moved to Gorar, Gorar, where the king of Palestine had lived at that time, you know. So, God said Isaac, go to the Gorar. I will show the land. You have to go. And Isaac received what God said that God had blessed him. After he moved to that land, see, I never heard of it. Hundred and four times one year he had to be blessed. Have you heard that? I think, uh, I think there is a hundred and four benefit, times benefit. I've never heard. Maybe this time, maybe lottery. Lottery maybe <laughs> was hundred and four times. In business, never ever hundred and four times in business in this earth. Yeah. At least double, triple. That's it. Please make a gain. Yeah. Isaac had received a hundred and four times the one year because he obeyed God's instruction. He knew the biblical instruction that God revealed. Yes. I, I, I want you, you have to take biblical instruction that going to bless you abundantly, greatly, bless for your financial increasing. If you look at the Bible, if you want to be which man be like Abraham Isaac? Look at the Bible. You will find great blessing you will receive. Yeah, I'm telling you. This Bible says that I'm preaching now. Oh, heavenly, heavenly inheritance will be your great earthly blessing. 
today's title to Soma. Heavenly. Our Heavenly Father is going to open the window of the heaven, pour out to you financial blessing. I'm not talking of the spiritual thing and mentally and physically. Of course, you already got that. But today, I'm telling you financial blessing. Absolutely you need right now because you're going to support gospel mission. God wants you. God assigned to you. That's why Satan hates you going to be blessed by the financial blessing God going to pour out to you and your family, your descendant, your, your son, daughter. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Who else? Abraham, Isaac, Jago, Solomon, David, Solomon, hmm? and many, many other people who had received God's blessing that they obeyed God's instruction and the biblical order God had told them. Yes. And finally, children of Israel. Yeah. They, Israelites, got a lot of material thing when they were exodus, when they escaped from Egypt, where they had been 430 years in slavery under the power in King of Egypt. By leading the Moses. I'm not telling this story. What I'm telling you now, material thing, blessing of material, treasury, God added up the children of Israel, they were getting out from the slavery, Egypt. Paro said, take all stuff, herd, sheep, goat, gold, and silver. You may take <laughs> Oh my Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Yes. That they, children of Israel, didn't think about that. They, did, they didn't expect that they're going to get this material thing, the silver and the gold and the sheep and the goat. Huh? Because who did? God did. God did. God did. You God did. You God going to give to you. You never expect. That's what I'm telling you right now. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. Oh, my, my Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, shuck. That is. Oh, I pray for you. I, I pray for you. But your thing will be yours. Hallelujah. Amen. Miracle is going to happen. Hallelujah. Ah, you got to believe that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Huh? What? Bible say, my God, your Lord, your God, will be meet 
all you need according to his riches, glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 19. Yeah. He will meet you, He will supply you. All you need, material things, blessing financially. What do you need? Hallelujah. Because God answered yesterday. God answered Abraham. God answered Isaac. What he asked? God answered David. God answered Solomon. The prayer, you know that. God answered the children of Israel. Finally, God will answer you same time. It could to be you who gonna get the great blessing from the Lord whom you love. Because you need material. Hallelujah. If you listen this sermon, what I'm speaking now, and search for the biblical instruction, the Bible you are enjoying now every day, you can find the instruction that God will reveal material thing to children of the Israel. Pray the Lord. Amen. Remember that your Lord God will give you what you need. Bible said Deuteronomy 8 chapter 18. Remember, remember, don't forget, your Lord, Lord God, it is he who gives you gives you ability to produce to produce because he conforms his covenant to listen he conforms his covenant to his forefather as it is today. Today, today, God is talking to you through my mouth. Keep in this word, Deuteronomy 8, chapter 18. He conforms. His covenant to his father, Abraham Isaac. Because you are children of God. You are heir. You are co-heir. Romans 8, chapter 15 says, For you, you did not receive a spirit that makes a slave again to fear. You have received to spirit, spirit of sonship, and by him you are cry out cry out Abba Father Abba Father give me what I need just like Abraham, Isaac, David Hallelujah Amen Amen, Amen. Oh I want to this word of God you understand what I preaching now it totally if you listen carefully listen this word I love this word 
First uh, Chronicle 16, chapter 15 through the 18. He remembers, listen, his covenant. He promised you, he's going to give to you material through his plan for you. If you love him, if you follow the, his degree, his instruction, his covenant forever, the word he commands for a thousand generations, not one, two generations, thousand generations, hallelujah, thousand generations. Yeah? This Bible said, this God said, it's promise. What God said to children of Israel, children of the you, because you are heir of God. Romans 8, chapter 15. You are the co-heir of God. God, God. God will never change. God never changed. God will keep this promise, covenant, as God had to keep the promise with the children of Israel with his forefather. The covenant, covenant, he made with Abraham, yeah, you know. The, listen good. The oath, he swore, he swore, he swore, <laughs> not just, he swore to Isaac. He Confirmed it to Jacob as a degree to Israelites on everlasting covenant. To children of Israel, God promised the everlasting covenant. To you, today, code yesterday today God is the same to you I will give this material financial blessing to you because I will keep this covenant because God said to children of Israel, I will give the land of Canaan, where now Israel people is living now. God has kept, God kept this covenant. Same God, same Lord we believe, gonna give it to you. And keep his covenant that the showing the financial blessing as well as spiritually, physically blessing you already had received. And it will be added up if you seek of the kingdom of God. I will add it up, verse 633, you can see, because Bible say, he, Psalm 37, chapter 4, yes, I think, if you pray and desire of you in your heart, God will give you your desire heart. God gonna give you all that. Desire your heart. Think of that. You will see. You will see. God will promise you. God will never change. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.